Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see this uh, concept data form in Google Cloud Platform. In our early video, we have seen friends already, but there we have added the uh, tables, but here we are not going to add any tables. So if you are not seeing my previous video, no need to worry friends, you can see this video, okay? Then later, you can, uh, if you have time, you can see that video also friends, okay? So now, what is the data form? So data form, Core in data form core enables data engineers and the data analysts to create table definitions, configure dependencies, and add column. So basically, it is uh, developing and operationalized scalable data transformations pipelines in the BigQuery using SQL. Okay, so we can uh, enable the data analyst and data engineers to collaborate on the same code repository. Build we can build the scalable data pipelines in BigQuery using SQL. We can develop the data pipelines directly in BigQuery Studio Friends. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to create a SQL workflow and execute it in BigQuery by using the data form and SQL like friends. So that is what we are going to see it, uh, today. So I have given step by friends, step by step friends. Uh, SQL like it is a extension of that friends okay extension of the data form related so we will be using for only data form related friends so it's sqlx dot sqlx it's a file it's a file format used primarily within google data form which is a service for developing and managing data transformations in a data warehouse okay first we are going to uh, here we are going to create and run a workflow in data form First, we are going to create a data form repository. Second, we are going to create and initialize the data form development workspace. Then we are going to create a view. Next, we are going to create a table and run the created workflow. Then finally, we are going to see, uh, we are going to view the execution logs in data form. Finally, we are going to clean up the created assets. Friends. Okay, let's uh, open the GCP console. Okay, so now you can see my GCP console friends. So this is my GCP console. Let me open the BigQuery. I'll open BigQuery. Okay, not a problem. So this is the Google Cloud. Let me open the Google BigQuery friends. Okay. Okay. So before moving to that uh, uh, steps friends, now let me explain a few things friends. Okay. So let me explain a few things. So this is my query friends. Okay. Now I am going to run this query. This is a basic query friends. No, no need to worry. Let me explain it. So, okay. Okay. So now I'm going to run this query friends. Okay. So you can see we have select apples as fruit and count as two for apples. Apple the fruit column uh, we are giving. Okay. So apple it will be comes under a fruits column then count comes under this two okay count uh, that is a column name okay so now you can see the results friends apples two oranges five pears one and bananas zero okay now we have given the same only friends you need not we have given then select oranges as a fruit count as five okay now you can see oranges five likewise pears we have added four number of uh, rows friends okay okay some good now my next thing is let me explain this query friends so same thing only this query i have added the ct friends common table expression this is our source data we initially defined okay so what i have given this is the with class i am giving the name for the ct quick start underscore source as alias name then this query i have uh, given here, here friends then select uh, statement here and the fruit column and sum of count to friends sum of count which this count i am adding it as a count alias name i am giving so aggregating we are aggregating the counts friends then from quick start source means this is the cte name i am giving and the group by fruits friends okay now we are going to see this results friends let's see the results i am uh, opening in a new uh, query so how now you can see friends just i am going to run it here so now you can see friends apples count is two oranges five and uh, this pears is uh, one and bananas is two friends okay i think uh, sorry i need to remove this banana has to zero only so you can see friends banana is zero right 
banana is zero so here also banana is zero friends because we added only one line okay now you just see friends now you just see banana is zero now what i am planning uh, just i am going to add one more row here i am going to add this apples okay so just i am going to add this apples okay now you can see the difference friends okay let me explain it okay then you need not like bringing any two and should not be here now the apple count is showing two here as well as two here so two plus two four it should count friends previously it was two right here it will uh, after executing this it will be modified to four friends count okay apples now four so now you you have seen right cte common table expressions we have done the same thing we are going to do in a data pipeline friends we are going to use this uh, data form okay just i would like to explain friends what we are doing exactly so that is what we are doing okay okay sounds great now start the demo now only we are going to start the real demo okay so let me duplicate uh, try to duplicate this okay and duplicate this page okay now we are going to use the best app okay now you can see friends here we have the data form okay data form we have to click it friends now we are going to create a data form repository click create repository and you can give the name friends i am giving us dev hyphen repo whatever name you can give it friends i am giving the name as dev repo then I am selecting the US central one because this is a low cost. Then default data form service account. I am going to click create friends. Now I successfully created this repo. Okay. Then next we are going to create and initialize the data form development workspace friends. So repository created successfully. Go to the uh, repository. So now here we have this dev repo. Right. So now here we need to click development workspace. Again, uh, we need to give the name friends dev hyphen workspace i'm giving okay whatever name we can give it okay so i'm giving us uh, dev hyphen workspace friends now i'm creating this uh, workspace then again we have to click this workspace dev underscore workspace here we need to initialize the workspace friends okay we have to initialize the workspace to start uh, developing with the data form uh, the configurations file it will come friends okay left side you can see definitions uh, uh, files it will be created automatically okay now you can see this now here friends here uh, i actually we have two xqls if you don't want you can delete it friends it will be if you are if you are, if you confused okay then you can delete it not a problem if you are uh, not deleting also not not a problem friends okay so i'm deleting it so now you just uh, check it, uh, listen it uh, carefully, learn, I mean, uh, watch it carefully, friends, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this file, friends, okay? Quick start underscore source, SQLX, okay? So now I'm going to copy this. So now you have here, under, under the definitions, right? Three dots. Click this three dots, click create file, and here, after this slash, we have to paste it, friends. Okay, quick start underscore source SQLX. The name you can give uh, as per your this friends. Okay, so here I am going to paste uh, this uh, this one friends config. Okay, so config and the select statement also I am pasting it friends. Okay, listen carefully friends. Okay, so here config. This is the view friends. Okay, this is the view only. This is not we have not created any table right this is the view okay so type as view i'm giving and i'm giving this uh, statements friend select statement whatever uh, select statement we have already right the sele same select statement apples is uh, two orange is five and pears is one and bananas is zero i'm giving this friends okay first step we completed it and second uh, this one we have to do it friends okay so we have successfully uh, creating the view now next step we have to create uh, the quick start table friends okay so this is the table now how we have, we have to do this same way friends 
so I'll go to this uh, def definitions click create file okay we are creating the table right now okay so again this path we have to copy quick start table okay the name quick start hyphen table you can give it in your own name friends okay so i'm clicking create here now i'm going to copy this friends okay now you just uh, check see it carefully friends okay you watch it carefully so here you can see friends config type as table but previously we have given view for this right but here we are giving table friends okay then select statement fruit sum of counters uh, count from this is the reference we are giving friends okay dollar symbol reference this quick start hyphen source is this name only friends quick start hyphen source it will be taking from that uh, only that's what we are giving it and group by one instead of one we can give fruit also friends okay instead of uh, one here we can give fruit also okay i hope you are following right i hope you are following because the same this logic only we are doing it friends so instead of uh, this quick the ct common table expressions we have done it right the same logic we are here also we are using it friends okay uh, instead of uh, this quick start hyphen sources this one file name only we are giving it friends okay and now now we have done we have uh, created this sqlx file for table definitions friends okay then we have uh, uh, we have uh, defined this uh, table type uh, structure and dependencies also yeah right okay now next step next step we are going to run the workflow in BigQuery friends okay before going to this we can run it here also friends we can run it here also but it was not found it is showing okay it's not a problem let's uh, let's go to that uh, okay we are going to run the workflow in BigQuery friends okay sorry uh, i'm sorry for that no need to worry so directly go to the start execution here and here you can uh, see friends start uh, execution so here we will be having access right click actions and this one okay quick start table so here you tell you, you have to select all actions friends here you have to select all actions then here you have to select this start execution you can see type plus view this is the table friends okay now you just so successfully created the workflow execution now we are going to see the execution friends okay just click the execution you can see friends it has uh, success right it is it got success okay now you can see the compiled graph also okay this is our source this is the table okay the magic has happened right so we are uh, we have viewed the execution logs in the data form so now you can click it uh, this one friends so you can see the logs also here okay so there are two logs we here we have okay one is for uh, quick start source and second one is for quick start stable okay now you can see uh, the view details here and uh, you can see the query friends which we have here right this is the view okay so likewise this is for table this is for table all right okay so now now you are going to see it friends now i am going to click this uh, click this uh, big query just click refresh friends just click refresh you are going to see the magic you are going to see the magic friends So this is my project now you can see under the data form so data form uh, data set has been created automatically after running this uh, pipeline friends okay so this is the quick start source this is our view friends okay this is our views so you can see under the details also okay uh, october 16 it was created automatically after running the pipeline so here you can see the query also friends okay you can see the query this is our uh, query right we have given under the quick start source right okay so then uh quick start quick start table so quick start table you can see friends you can see the details you can see the details here and uh, this one also created up october 16 and preview you can see friends so preview you can see bananas zero 
and uh, apples two, oranges five, and pears is one, friends. Okay. So we have uh, successfully done that, friends. If you want to change uh, the code, right? So you can change it here. Just uh, 